Hi, Debbie with Altered Pages. And I have to tell you, I have found something that I really, really love, and Altered Pages now has it. It's called Pan Pastels, and um, I previously loved pastels, but uh, working with a blending stump and all that is a lot of work and messy, and these are fabulous. And I'm going to be starting by using one of the food service or, or servalette doilies that are available at Altered Pages, and I'm making some haunted tags, so what I want to do is I'm going to use a tag and spray a, spray a random background to work with for my project. So it's going to be I know it sounds crazy, but this is just to give me a little haunted ghost tag. My pan pastels just a little touch to it and then coming back here and giving it a oomph of a, a real push of color and I mean just a little bit goes a long way Here's what I get from altered pages and now I'll be using my gelatos to give some dimension to my creation here my haunted tag that came alive and uh, this is my rendition of the crafts at, at Halloween, my crafting supplies. So I love this doily. Now I'm going to pop out the back a little bit more. That's what I love about using the pan pastels. You can actually use them uh, in conjunction with so many other mediums. This is one that I really enjoy using. Again, I'm going to go back to the paintbrush. I'm going to do a little dry with the uh, pan pastel over it. Take my finger and give it a little smear. So it's really cool about gelatos too. You can really move them around. And with the uh, pan pastel too, it really helps to move the gelato. I'm just giving it a little shading here. And you'll see my tabs are coming out of the pile, out of the graveyard. My haunted tabs going to go and I've got this place so that it's going to cut. I want to place it so that it cuts specifically where I want it so it's not running over the line. I want to have it even. So what I'll do with my placement is I'm going to take this and I'm going to run my scallops. I mean it's just ever so much larger. Let's see. The inside scallops are pretty close. So I'm going to take some painter's tape and put on this before I put it in my machine too so it doesn't move made a um, shadow box frame from a cutting file and I'm going to move these out of the way and uh, this is some some really cute cardstock that I had on hand it's got kind of some things so I want this to step outside of my frame these are the makeup sponges that you can get over at Dollar Tree yeah, that's what I want to do right there. I want to raise it up out of the frame. A little stencil from the Hollywood uh, Muse kit to just give a quick little detail to my frame. And remember, since it is for Halloween, I'm not really doing anything. I, I kind of want just lines to kind of appear to be kind of uh, webby looking. This is using a Sharpie marker. And uh, I just, I really, really love what I'm getting out of here. Let me move my plastic. It's, it's just such a fun tool. So now with a little punchinella from Altered Pages, I now have my wonderful composition and, and shadow box frame. And this will be going up on my wall to celebrate the wonderful haunting events coming in late October.